Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And in our household, it's me, my husband, and our eight-month-old little boy. So I am kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with a childhood favorite, which is chicken and dressing casserole. And I do have a video coming out on this recipe in just a few days, actually. So uh, we're having the chicken and dressing casserole, and we are also having some green beans. And these are the green beans that I used, and I just, just doctored them up with some sauteed onions and bacon and then I made some homemade mashed potatoes. I finally figured out the secret. So I um, made two pounds of potatoes. I boiled and chopped them up and then drained them. And then I added warm whipped cream. That's what, uh, or whipping cream I should say, not whipped cream, warm whipping cream. So if you add it cold out of the refrigerator, it kind of seizes up the potatoes. So I took a cup of whipping cream heated it up in the microwave for about a minute, got it nice and warm, and then I added it to the potatoes, and you can see how light they are and fluffy. They are so good. I added butter as well, and that's it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having spaghetti and garlic bread. So I looked in my fridge and I had this um, jar of pasta sauce. It is from Aldi and I had opened it earlier and I don't know, like a week or so ago to use it for something and I had, you know, of course a big jar left so I wanted to use it before it went bad. And to that, I added this salsa. I had just a little bit of salsa left in this jar and Howard and I weren't crazy about it anyway. So typically that's what I'll do. I'll just look in my fridge to see what tomato based products I have. When I'm making spaghetti sauce, I'll just throw it in there. Um, now I will caution you if your salsa has lime juice or lemon juice, it may not be as good. This didn't have it, um, doesn't have it I should say. It just has tomatoes and peppers and um, onions so it just has a little you know the spaghetti sauce just has a little kick and we like that so that's what we're having and we're having our garlic toast I talk about this all the time on our what's for dinner videos I got this from Tom Thumb this is really the only garlic toast that I buy it's so cheesy and it's good and it's cheap you get eight slices for I think it's $2.25 sometimes you can find it on sale so I stock up and then for dessert, I made some apple dumplings. I, cr I made a video on peach dumplings not too long ago and I will make sure to link it in the description box if you guys are interested. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having a quick and easy meal tonight. We are having, or actually finishing up, these breaded chicken patty breast from Aldi, and we really like these. It tastes pretty good, so we're having that. Howard made them in the air fryer, and we're having some sweet corn. It's the microwavable kind, <clears throat> excuse me, from Kroger, and we are having it with chicken gravy, and <clears throat> excuse me, the mix calls for you to mix it with one cup of water but I used half a cup of water and half a cup of milk to make it a little bit more creamy. So here is Howard's plate. He just wanted gravy on his mashed potatoes. He did not want it on his chicken. And there's his corn. I'm just gonna add some butter and salt to mine. This is my plate. I did want gravy on my chicken and my mashed potatoes and corn. I'm gonna add some butter and salt and pepper to my corn. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making coconut shrimp on garlic butter rice. This is a recipe that I made a long time ago. Howard really liked it. I don't know why I haven't made it again, but I decided to make it tonight. So in my large skillet, I just have a can of coconut milk. This is from Sprouts, which is a grocery store around here. And if you've never used coconut milk, this is what it looks like. It looks kind of watery. It has a coconut milk in there. To it, I am going to add some chicken broth and I'll make sure to um, leave the recipe in the description box as well but some chicken broth and I'm going to add some red curry 
paste, and this is the brand that I'm using, Thai Kitchen, and you can add a tablespoon to uh, two tablespoons. I'm just gonna add a heaping tablespoon for a medium heat. And going to add some coriander and um, what is this? Coriander and sweet paprika, sorry. Dump it in there. And I did not think I had coriander, um, and I did. I had it in my spice cabinet, so I really need to start using up stuff that I have in my cabinet. So I'm just gonna let this come to a boil, and once it comes to a boil, I'm going to add in a cup of this Uncle Ben's flavor infusions, oops, the garlic butter. So I'll bring you back once everything comes to a boil. So I read the instructions wrong. This is not supposed to come to a boil first. You're just supposed to combine everything and then add in the cup of rice. So I had a scant cup of that flavored rice. So in order to make it one cup, I added in a couple of tablespoons of jasmine. So I'm just gonna put this in here. And my pan is on a medium heat if I didn't mention that. I'm gonna put this in there and then it says to cook it for 10 minutes. And then after it's cooked for 10 minutes, I'm supposed to go in and add in my one pound of shrimp, which I had in the freezer. So I will bring you back to show you the finished product as soon as it's finished. So here is everything all plated up and I tasted it and it's really good. It tastes like I remember. And so what I will caution you about, the recipe says to just boil the rice for 10 minutes, then add in the shrimp. Don't do that. Wait until the rice is almost done and then add in your shrimp. I overcooked the shrimp waiting on the rice to cook. Um, but here's, I'm serving uh, green beans with it, sorry, green beans. And the green beans came from my freezer. These are from Aldi, I just had half a bag left. This is a shrimp that I mentioned to you, it came from Kroger, it was in our freezer as well finished up this garlic butter rice and a can of coconut milk. I used bouillon to make the chicken broth. And that's it, used up quite a few things for my pantry and freezer today. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so Harrison is having dinner so you'll probably hear him in the background, but for dinner tonight, quick and easy. I had some coleslaw mix in the fridge that I needed to use up before it went bad. I had a package of ramen noodles. This is my favorite brand of ramen noodles. I had these frozen chicken breast strips from Aldi, and then I also had some spring rolls in my freezer, and I had this stir fry sauce. So all I did was stir fry the coleslaw mix um, in a skillet with a little bit of oil. I added in some chopped green onions. I prepared the soup but drained the noodles and I didn't add the flavor package. Um, but once I drained the noodles, I tossed them with sesame oil so they wouldn't stick together. I added them to the skillet along with a handful of the chicken strips. And then I added about a third of a cup of stir fry sauce. To the stir fry sauce, I added the package of seasoning that came in the noodles. And then I just poured that in the skillet and this is what it looks like. So Howard and I, of course, are having dinner tonight and we have enough for more for dinner tomorrow. And then I just made the spring rolls in the air fryer. So that is what we're having tonight, a quick and easy meal. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.